Hi guys, today I'm going to show you an introduction of HTML and CSS. I might be a bit slow, so you might want to put it on 1.25 times. Okay, so the first thing you learn in most languages is how to say anything, mainly Hello World. So, how to say Hello World in this case is, hang on, is, well, you need to use container tags. Now, not all things in HTML use container tags. Container tags need both an opening and an ending, and you write whatever the functionality is in the middle. In this case, it prints something. So if you write, hello, there, then, as expected, it'll print it. Okay, now, next bit in HTML would probably be the breaking. Hang on, yeah, it's still about the same thing. Okay, now, you might realize that if you write enter in the middle of the two words, it still says the same. So, you, if you write that, br, that, that will put a break. No, this isn't a container tag because there's no, like, input that you put into it. So, now, as you can see, it prints them on two separate lines. Next bit in HTML would be the headings. Here, so a heading, as you know, is like just like it says what the thing is, but it doesn't have to be in this case. And also, some headings can be very small, so it doesn't really matter. But heading one is bigger than P, as you can see here. Wait, this is heading one yeah that's heading one and then if we do the same with heading six heading six is the smallest by the way and you can't get any headings like heading seven or so the max one is heading six so this is heading six there um there and that, as you can see, is really tiny. It's more tinier than that. And you can still write the BR inside of that. Now, you, you can nest elements inside elements. What do I mean by that? Well, nesting is when you put something inside another thing. Hang on, wait. It would be better to use the control and see. There. And then, if I put this in here, hang on, wait, paste, then I'll write, hello, this is heading one, because this is heading one is inside of it. Okay. And, yeah, you can do it with all of these elements here. But I don't think you can do it with every single element. Anyway, now it's time for CSS. And no, I'm not doing JavaScript in this lesson, so I might as well fold that away. So, CSS, the first one that you should probably know is that its tags are different. It uses curly braces. And the, and the styling goes in here. That's another thing. As in most coding languages, the first thing you usually learn is how to say stuff. You can't do in CSS because it's the styling end of HTML. So for that reason, we might still need the HTML open. Okay. But the first thing you wouldn't learn this one would probably be the color. And just to note, I should probably make it someone with see so, so yeah this changes it into blue violet note if the coat runner is like this you can go on it and then move it around but if it doesn't you can just do rgb or you could use hex codes and search up a hex code playground but i like this way but you might not have the accessibility to this way so there's also background color. Now, 
With body, it just does the entire screen. However, if you only do a certain thing, and just to note, what it means by body is like the body's the main bit of the code, as you can see here. So, if we change that to P, so now it only works on the P tags, and you write background color. Brown, just see. Then, if I'm correct, hang on, it would probably be because I nested this inside of that. So, and, yeah, though, also, if I'm correct, um, if you root to, if you root normally without that, this is heading one, it would put the brown over it all. Oh, hang on, let me just see, I might be a bit incorrect. Or maybe it's because of the BR, that's always another option. Let's see... Correct. It's just because it had that nested. Okay. Now, another thing in CSS that you should know is IDs and classes. So, ID, this is the syntax. ID equals, and wherever you write, just say, okay, because as long as the code's not too big, it doesn't really matter. If you make a big code, you might want to specify each thing toward it is but in this case this is just small code so it doesn't matter anyway back to a thing then if you write a hashtag and then hi um it'll do that as it did before but for a different reason not because this is a p tag hang on wait no man. okay so that you can see the reason i'm gonna change i'm gonna put it onto here ID equals hi. And then, as you can see, it does heading six. Not because it's heading six, but because its ID is hi. And that's what it wrote here. Next thing is classes. Classes are the same, but have two differences. Number one, instead of a hashtag at the start, it has a dot. Number two, multiple things can share one class. So, let's do let's write okay class equals hi class equals hi and then again as i mentioned earlier you need to change this to a dot for classes okay now if we run it it'll do both of those because it's a class and multiple things share it and there is probably one more thing I should introduce to your disk. It's kind of more of a pro tip, but it's as simple as the beginning stuff and accomplishes much more. It's the filter. There, as you can see, there are so many things to choose from. And you might be a bit overwhelmed at all of the options, so you can always open a new tab and look at it. And wait, search up filters and look at it. So, so the basic ones. First is blur. So, this one takes input as pixels. And I may seem that one pixel is tiny, but trust me, it makes a big difference. So, as you can see here, it blurs it. Okay. But, like, the max is, but like, I don't think there's a max, and if you write, like, even if you write 5 pixels, you get this, which you can't even read. So, with this, keep it small. Even for, even 3 pixels is still pretty big. Yeah. Anyway. So, I suggest either 1 or 2 pixels. Okay, but there's many more than just blur. Another one is hue rotate. What is hue rotate? Okay. <sighs> okay, it doesn't matter. It takes too much time to load. So, just pretend if red was at the top of the color wheel and green is at the bottom, which it is, 
end, he wrote 180 day. Well, since 180 day clockwise from red is green, red turns into green. And if we change this to red, color dot dot red, then as you can see, hang on, never mind. Okay, the opposite of red is blue. I got that mistake. Do anyway, the point is that if a color is at the top, it goes to the opposite side if you just write 180 dig because that's 180 dig around the clock. Okay. And again, as I said, if you want to run older filters, you can just search it up in Google. I personally find that really cool. Okay, that's all for today. Um, I hope you liked it. Please like it and thanks for watching. See you next time.